Hey, what's going on, Cancer? Welcome back to your 48, next 48 hours. I heard notice hold on. <laughs> H-O, H-O, H-O. <laughs> like, y'all got a Jezebel. I saw the Empress in reverse. You got a Karmic. This could be a baby mama or something like that. I don't know. Somebody about to come around like back needy and clingy. They need something. Um, you could be on a on a cusp with Gemini. Okay, I mentioned that in Gemini reading that they could be a cancer cusp. And it's like false narrative and all of this stuff. But somebody definitely like <laughs> I can't go for that. No, no, <laughs> no, can't do no. I can't go for that. <laughs> all right, cancer. We're gonna see. Yeah, expectations. Like I feel like it, to you, this is like <laughs> you been waiting or something like that or this ain't nothing new like this is what this person does or whatever yeah death magic with thief here okay um they try to end everything you got going on so they can come in and steal it or like steal you away or i don't know we're gonna see before we get even deeper guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up thank you i appreciate you for all your love and support and kindness we've made it to a thousand subscribers yay so if you're new and at any time you dig the buy please go ahead and subscribe and if this is your second time or more you are a part of the tribe you too should have been subscribed so that way you could turn on your notification button so you know when these videos premiere baby because you do not want to miss this tea okay don't want to miss these jewels don't want to miss this drip um yeah i also go live sometimes so yep make sure that notification bell button on if you would like to book a personal with me i'd be more than pleased to do it you can book with me on my website as i said below you can also take advantage of the free reading that i'm giving away in honor of us making a thousand subscribers yes so try we doing it okay um just comment below, yes, Jess, or I'm in, or count me in, or whatever, just to let me know that you want to be down. I am drawing the winners um, on Sunday, August 18th, and I will announce them at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So people pretty much got until about 9 o'clock that night, you know, to say that they want in, you know, on the um, reading. And yeah, we're going to get into it. So yeah, this person is dark. They... Uh, I don't know, it's like somebody can smell when you're like moving on or like when success is knocking on your door. Somebody can smell that shit. That shit crazy. Yeah, look, abundance. 26. Somebody can they can you smell like money, baby. Like you smell like abundance. You smell like money. And somebody is like a hound dog and they is they done sniff child, baby. What's this? A community of people, a flock of hoes. Flock of birds, pigeons. Let's see, Divine Holy Spirit, what we got here for cancer? Yeah, look, you done probably moved on and traveled away from these people. Um, 1021, okay? Will of Fortune energy. 21, the world card. Fixed energy here, okay? Could be dealing with a Leo, a Scorpio, a Taurus, or Aquarius. You could have that in your chart, all right? But um, Jupiter, um, Sagittarius energy. Will of Fortune is Saturn, Capricorn, okay? I mean, world card, all right? But this is even like you leaving home or like you you done got away from these people um, or how you could have even went. See, like I said, this could be a Jezebel, the karmic energy, right? Who is trying to come towards you. Maybe you done started a new family or something. Because I see what like mom, this mother got green eyes, the father got yellow and the kids got like yellow eyes. So and she got yellow eyes. So this could be like a stepmother. Like I could be talking to a man or something like that. And you could be out here with another you know, then you probably had to take your kids from the Jezebel or whatever and become like a single parent. This Jezebel could be a man. Man or woman, switch the roles how y'all need to seem fit. But it do seem like like this was the couple at one point. And this is the Jezebel. And this Jezebel is now going towards this man who is now in a new family dynamic with this woman. The divine energy, so to speak, you know, for terminology uses, right? So it's like this karmic is now trying to come back and change fate and end this this family dynamic that this person has created with their divine counterpart and like these kids or their kids or whatever. Okay. And that's what it feels like. Like you got an ex or somebody who's trying to come back now, like somebody want their family back or they want to come back and do right. But again, it's because you're doing well. Everything is in alignment and perfect sync. I see that rainbow rainbows could be significant at this time, but you're just in alignment. Like everything is going smooth for you. 21 breaks down to a three and this person wants to like a do over. Somebody wants to come back and try again. Yeah, you're in high honor because they see you in high honor. Like somebody is now just like, oh my gosh, like I really had a good person. I could have been living that life. That's my life. Like somebody deciding that I heard somebody is finally deciding to get off the pole and come and play they and come and finally play their role. Like somebody they don't who was delivered? 
Aquarius, this person could have like strong Aquarius in their chart, okay? Or maybe you do, or you need to check out Aquarius reading because it talks about how somebody talking about, oh, I'm delivered. I don't do that anymore. I don't change, but no, they really didn't, okay? They're only saying this because they want to come back around and be in your face. Next 48 hours for Cancer. Yep, a mature woman, six. Gemini energy. Old friend, old lover. Somebody from the past. Somebody who could have even tried to make contact to you in June. How they could have even did something last year in October. You could have broke up with this person in 2021. All right. But like now this person want to show back up. Okay. You could this mature woman could also be an ancestor who's looking over and protecting you and this family that you have established. All right. I'm getting 10 of Pentacles, 10 of Cups vibes here. This legacy that you have now created. Right. You moved on with your life and somebody's trying to come back around. They're delivered. She's trying to make it seem like she's changed, like she's delivered or whatever. This could even be this divine inner, this divine feminine energy. Ancestor, she got green eyes too. This could be like their grandparent or an ancestor who's protecting and like really looking over you in this situation. Hell, this could be you. You could be the divine feminine I'm talking to. And it's a Jezebel who's trying to come back in and get 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 with a partner that you're with. Like their ex could be trying to come back and interfere. Yeah, rich girl energy. Your ancestors are protecting you because they know that you guys are wealthy. Like, you're supposed to have this. This is 12, 21, 12, 12, 21. Okay, but two threes here, which is also three and three is six. They're protecting this. Like, you're abundant and this, this masculine is abundant in his own right too. And together, y'all are in perfect alignment and balance. This karmic energy sees that and wants to come in and interrupt. Somebody definitely could be coming in on a Greyhound or a Peter Pan. Okay, that code, whatever. They riding a bus. Yeah. We got false narrative under the deck, 89. Okay. Somebody out here trying to lie. Lie about a relationship that you got going on. 16 to create some sort of tower. At four, Aries energy. Okay. Or emperor. Somebody could be out here trying to lie about the relationship. Or again, she could be trying to come in and say, oh, I'm I'm with him. We're really still together. He's been promising me, da, 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 da. But no, this was a thought, Some something that somebody came up with. To try to get this person back or to, like, break y'all up to cause this tower. Like, so don't believe the hype. Don't believe that shit either. Like, somebody's only doing this because they can smell the success in, in the dynamic that y'all have. So somebody feels like, oh, that's supposed to be my spot. I'm hearing it again. Ring the alarm. I've been through this too long. Yeah, somebody who's always out here partying is Jezebel spirit. She has sat in deep ass thoughts. About how can I destroy this relationship? How can I destroy the situation? How can I get my person back? They out here trying to like put out a false narrative and lie and trying to spread a rumor saying that this person is cheating on you or whatever, whatever. Yeah, but mm -mm. this the, in reality, this person has really moved on from this Jezebel. They like to party all the time. They're not dealing with that and they're money hungry. This person don't like I said, you smell like money. Somebody's only also coming back around because they know that you're financially well off and they don't want to see you have this with another person. So they're trying to come in and steal this person's spot. Yeah, whoever this romantic lover is that you're with, they're trying to come in and steal this person's spot. Somebody is in heavy thoughts about the relationship. Yeah, they're trying to dig up dirt and see that if you're in a relationship with anybody. Yeah, and every time they, what they're seeing, what they're seeing is pissing them off, okay? This inside scoop. They also know that you're healing in a way that you're shining, that you're definitely going to end up with this love offer. You're going to end up in this dynamic with this romantic partner. And this is, well, they know that this person is going to choose you and settle down and like marry you. Y'all going to be together forever. And this really bothers somebody, right? You're about, I feel like this marrying for many is like you marrying into wealth. Like y'all coming together and building something very wealthy when you guys marry. And somebody doesn't want this. They keep thinking about this. This is what they are turning about in their head. This is what these thoughts are so heavy about. So let's see, Divine Holy Spirit. Why is travel here? Clarify travel for the next 48 for cancer. Clarify travel. Yeah, dodging bullets. This is somebody you've already dodged bullets from. Hell, you could have even got away from this energy. That could have been you hopping on a bus getting away from these crazy people. But I also feel like with this dodging bullets, this person's out here trying to dodge bullets by trying to get back to this person. They trying to fake it, fake it till they make it. Like I said, they're delivered. I'm delivered. I'm changed. I haven't done this. Whatever, whatever. Fishing for comments, right? Seeing who's going to sympathize with them. If this person will sympathize, like they, they just need this person to be like, oh, word, I'm proud of you or whatever. And then they're going to run with that. They're going to run and be like, yeah, they were proud of me. And so they wanted to make it work again. And da, 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 da. Like, they, they're just going to like, yeah. Again, this is somebody who does not have their children or their child. Okay. 
This person also could be like asking a child, like, oh, what's your parent doing? Who they're with? Oh, is there, are they nice? Where do y'all stay? They're trying to get information out of a child so that way they can get close to you. Because mm -hmm. you've been moving in silence. So they're trying to use a child or children to figure out what's going on with you, what your moves are. What's um family here? Yeah, unfazed, but don't worry or you shouldn't be worried. Or again, there's nothing to worry about because you guys aren't, you're in alignment, you're balanced. This is already in motion. They can't stop this. Yeah, bankrupt. Don't worry about somebody trying to come in and steal this and bank bankrupt you of this Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Like, they can't do it. Yeah, hooks. It's hook. Um, This is hook, line, sunk, hook, line, sink, reeled in, whatever how the saying goes. But you, this is your fish. This, you done caught this. This is yours. Y'all done caught each other. Like, y'all together. Yeah. Somebody's hooked on trying to figure out what's going on in this family situation or if you're pregnant or like if somebody has moved in with you or something like that. Yeah, ain't shit. Somebody's also hooked on trying to put on this false narrative or trying to like make it seem like somebody's faking happiness or. But they're trying to use a child to like kind of bad mouth the other parent or something or bad mouth the step parent or something like that. They want like somebody is hooked on wanting to say that whoever like the step parent or something ain't shit. Like somebody is hooked on trying to make that narrative stick. Yeah, because they're very much so intimidated. They're threatened. They don't want like the child to fall in love with the step parent. And I mean, essentially see that they they ain't shit. As their real parent. Like, where you at for real? What's this mature woman talking about? What they doing? What's the tea on this mature woman? Because really giving heavy ancestor vibes. Yeah, unbothered. This mature woman is unbothered. I really feel like this is an ancestor. They're unbothered. They're not allowing anybody to bother y'all. They are protecting this. Protecting your emotions. Protecting your stability. Protecting your creativity. Protecting your security here. Okay? With that orange color. Okay? They are making sure that everything goes through and through. Her toes are red. Your stability, your grounding, they are protecting that. Whatever this family dynamic is, they're protecting that. Yeah, like unbothered. They're not even worried about the people who are looking you up. I feel like they're squashing them like bugs. I just seen somebody go like this on a gnat. Like they're squashing them like bugs. Whatever somebody's trying to monitor is getting shut down. Yeah, you keep shining. I feel like your ancestors is telling you to keep shining. Remain unbothered because your light is definitely irritating these people demons and it's really just showing, making them show their ass. So while they sitting out here trying to paint you out to be the bad picture, maybe you're the step parent and they're trying to paint you out to be this bad person. The children are seeing how much this karmic really ain't shit because it's like they're coming around and they're, they're causing arguments, trying to cause ruggers, trying to cause disruption and disrupt the peace and the dynamic of what y'all got going on. Yeah, keep shining. You BDE out here. You and who you're with. Okay. Yeah. Let these people talk because that's all they can talk. They're only talking shit so they can try to figure out what's going on. Like they're scratch they're trying to um they're telling these lies and stuff, these false narratives, so that way they can get the truth. That's the only reason why they're talking the shit, because they want somebody to correct them so they can find out the truth about you and what's going on with you. They want to know what's going on if you're in a relationship, how serious this relationship is. With that four, it reminds me of the four of wands. Are you married? Like, are you really with your twin flame? Are you really with your divine counterpart? Are y'all really that abundant power couple that was supposed to have came together? Yeah, like, are y'all the couple that nobody can compete against? Are y'all that true loving couple? Like, somebody wants to know this. Somebody really wants to know this. And then they want to know that if that's what the case is, like, oh, y'all have a healthy relationship. Well, I want your spot because I want a healthy relationship too. But they don't realize that it's because of the two of you coming together. You two work together in a healthy dynamic. This karmic, there's something wrong with them. Distorted. They're very distorted. What else for the relationship here? What else is the T? Like, nobody can even, nobody can even, like, compare when it comes to y'all. Like, I'm telling you, like, the relationship that you have with this person or, like, you're building up to have with this energy is one that when they say like relationship goals, y'all relationship goals. Okay. Yeah. Giving money. I feel like it's like an equal give and take between each of you. Like the rec the reciprocity is there. Yeah. And creeping like y'all always looking out for each other, looking out for each other in his best interest. Right. I feel like y'all caution each other, especially with giving out your energy to other people. Like y'all both are very much so enlightened and aware of what's going on. Keep shining. Your ancestors are saying don't worry. Like y'all good. Yeah, it, keep ignoring. Y'all together, y'all need to keep ignoring. Just focus on what y'all got going on in this relationship. Keep it on a hush. Yeah, because people trying to get proof. They trying to get evidence. They want to know what's going on. And the only reason why is because they're, they're thinking about how to destroy this with the 16. is tower energy. 416 could be somebody's birthday. Okay. 
Not for nothing, all these numbers are like major iconic cards. Wheel of Fortune, the World card, the Lovers, Emperor, and the Tower. Somebody is just like really shocked that they're they're receiving their karma of not being able to be with this person. Yeah, somebody is really in thought about like who their ex is with or who's loving you or how is the love between you guys or who you're dealing with. Like somebody is really trying to figure this out. Okay, it could be an Aries or a Scorpio here. But they're really trying to figure out what, what you got going on. Yeah, they're trying to get this evidence. They they really want to know. Because it's like they want to like disprove something or like make something look negative or bad, right? Yeah, they know that whoever this boss daddy is, this this emperor, empress, whatever, this stable energy, they know that they're going to make it rain on you. Somebody can't, they can't shake that. Ring the alarm. I've been through this too long. Like as somebody, they know you smell like money. You could be, you this boss daddy. You smell like money and they know this. They know that whoever you end up with, you about to give them the world. Like they ain't go, they know that you was a good person. Somebody knew you was a good ass person. They knew this shit and they felt bad as hell and now they want to come back around. Yep, that's the inside scoop. Somebody know. Somebody know that you was a good person. Or whoever the boss daddy energy is, they know that this was a good person. Man or woman. They know that. And not and that and hmm, they know it. And now this person on caught a case being out here in these streets and shit. Now they delivered and they want to come back so that you can help clean them up and all of that. Yeah, jackpot. They want you to use your resources to clean up their mess and their health and their Whatever they done messed up in life. Okay, whatever. Yeah, this Empress in reverse. Okay. Queen of Cups. This is definitely a mother. They don't take care of their kids. So I could be talking to the father, okay? Or maybe you the stepmom, right? But this is what's going on. This truth is being revealed right here, okay? About this. They could have a strong um Libra Taurus or Aquarius placement here. This person's very immature or petty. They always got their hand out. Okay, with that page of pentacles. Yeah, what is this? Yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords, okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. And then Sagittarius, okay. Yes, with that trouble here. Nine of Wands. This person always got their hand out. And I feel like, you know... Y'all know the truth. Or your person knows the truth about this person. And it's like, they always... they. It's like, that's why I feel like your answer is saying, don't worry, like... Your person knows how to stand up to whoever this ex is. You know, take the message how you, I, I'm saying. I, I can't try, keep flip flopping it because then it becomes confusing. I feel like it sounds even more confusing. But this boss daddy knows how to handle this karmic Jezebel energy who's trying to come back around. They know how to handle that. So you don't have to worry. Yeah, they know how to handle this person. They know the truth. They know why they're here. They know how to stand their ground. They're not giving in to this person. So you do not have to worry about this at all. Okay, judgment in reverse. Yeah, exactly. Like, they're going to really let this person down. They're going to let them down easy, but it's going to be ugly, okay? Um, Pluto energy is Scorpio. It's Libra on a car um, with Judgment also called Capricorn on that, okay? Like, if you're worried that this person is not going to be able to make a choice, trust and know that they are going to be able to make a choice. I feel like it's going to be very shocking to this Jezebel energy that this person didn't go back to them or their little tricks didn't work, but yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, exactly. Miss opportunity. They're they're not dealing with it. They're not taking this person's cup. They're not taking taking this apology. They're not believing anything they got to say. This person might actually be like very cutthroat. You might actually see this person be like their coldest ever. Like especially with their words and their attitude and their demeanor. This will probably be the only time that you really see this person like be in this energy, because that's how they have to like they they talk to and deal with this. Jezebel karmic spirit that way because it's like they don't understand no other way it's like you could tell them no a thousand times and just like trying to be gentle about it and say nah like it's not they don't get it so you might hear this person go off like they might go off on this karmic okay but it's not that's not anything of their character it's just that they need to like that's them checking this individual yeah like because this person like it's so like this karmic ha was oh, like, I, there's a lot. I'm picking up a big backdrop story for somebody here. Okay. But this karmic, we're going to put it this way. This karmic was very cruel to this masculine energy. So how this masculine talks to this energy is very much so deserving. They are literally, I'm here. they're giving back this karmic what this karmic served them. And this karmic don't like it. It said they're... 
they're getting it served on a cold platter from this divine masculine. They they just don't got no time and energy for this person. They're not going to allow them to manipulate them like they know the truth. Like, I don't even feel like they want to talk to this energy at all. Aquarius energy. They don't want to talk to them at all. Like, they don't. Aquarius again, 17, star card, right? They know that this person isn't healed. They know that they're lying. They know that they're coming in and wasting time. They know that they're only doing this because they see that they don't move on. And they don't, they're not trying to deal with that. Like, they're not even giving, they're not considering a second chance on anything with this person. With that judgment in reverse. Yeah, no, it's too risky. They already know that. See, this person done caught a case. Like, they, like I said, they coming back. I don't know. I just seen a face. I just seen, like, the mouth of somebody and they got scabs and stuff around their mouth. Oh, my goodness. Like, somebody got, like, scabs and shit around their mouth. I don't know if this person was, like, whatever. But, yeah, they, they just, like, nah, you need to go clean yourself up. And I don't know. Somebody, like I said, it could be trying to, well, what about the kids? I'm their mom or whatever, whatever. And it's, like, yo, go to rehab. Go get clean. You can't come here. Nah, I'm straight. The kids is good. You, you They don't need to see this. You can't be around. Like, and, and it's one of those things. And it's, like, you're going to hear this person say that. And then you're, and it might, like, throw you off for a second, but it's like, no, because they know that once you feed this animal, they're going to keep coming back. Yeah, like I said, this dusty-ass apology, Paige, immature, young. Like, they know it's too risky because there's something fishy going on with this person. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay? Aquarius, Aries. Final card here for the um, next 48. Yeah, don't, like I said, don't fill away. Like, don't fill away. With that Scorpio energy, don't fill away. Like, I feel like... This masculine may have told you some things, but I feel like once you see how they treat this person and like it might raise a question, they're going to tell you exactly everything of what was up and it will like really help you understand. So like don't feel bad. Don't don't feel away. None of, none of that. Like they got this. They got this. Yeah. They're going to tell you about how this person was reckless and everything. So don't feel bad. Like you're going to find out the truth. Sagittarius. Okay. Oh, Fucus. Y'all out here. So let's see, Divine Holy Spirit. Last card here for Cancer. Next 48. Yep, step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Yeah, you're right where y'all need to be. You're online, you're with the per your person, they're in their North Node and their purpose, and so are you. And this karmic sees that, and they want to come back around and try to pull this person back down. Nope, you about to... Mm -mm. I feel like because this person is in the North Node, this karmic also is about to get a different side of this person. I don't think they've ever expected this, this person to speak to them this way, but it's coming to them hot. They deserve it. Yeah, you might want to go check out Gemini reading because it talk about somebody getting school in the next 48 hours. And yeah, that's the schooling. But th this is why, because of the abundance that y'all reeking as a, as a power couple together. OK, yeah. So what do you need to release? Yeah, that way in the moon, they really about to let this karmic Jezebel like have it. So, Cancer, that's been it. It's been Graham. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe again if you want to enter for the free personal reading. Comment below. Let me know. OK, drawing is on Sunday. Make sure you check that community board on Monday to find out who was picked. See if you was picked. Feel me? Um, if you would like to just book your own personal reading with me on the website to support your girl, I'd appreciate that too. Websites listed below. Anything else you need of me, listed below as well. Uh, yeah, so as always, I love your face, but not more than I love you. So till the next time we speak, peace out.